Sergeant Kina here reporting for duty, and welcome back to the villagers. Last we left off, we ran into a bug that had to do with build building, build bridge building. Um, but I can made a completely new save. As you can see, things are in a different position, and I tried uh, it again without customizing the size of the bridge at all, and it seems to have worked. Kina, it's my goodness, it's what's going on, Ewald? To take a breath and calm down. What's wrong? And in our settlement, one of our laborers, he got he got the plague. Oh, what? He's got a fever and these strange patches on his skin. It's just as I predicted. You've got to do something, Kenai, and fast. And you're sure you're they're not absolutely mistaken? You're absolutely sure? Kenai, my hands are shaking with fear. I've never seen been so sure about anything in my entire life. The, abr the laborer is ill, fatally ill. Ill in the way that we've never seen before. Kenai, he... I'm so sorry. It's just like his settlement was no longer safe. Everything happened quickly after that. The villagers went into panic. They ousted, ousted the ones that were sick from the community and packed up their most important belongings and got ready to leave the area. What? You mean they just abandoned who were ill? Ruthless decision. It was hard for everyone, but no doctor could help them. They had no choice. They were probably mighty pleased to have built that bridge. Indeed they were, with a heavy heart, Kenai abandoned the settlement. He had to turn his back on his first village, but his villager's safety was his first priority. Home isn't land, nor city, or space, it's a feeling of safety and security. And they, would have be, they wouldn't find that here anymore. Damn. They just abandoned everyone? Alright, next mission, I guess. I was expecting to build a big thriving colony there, but I, you know, alright. Despite their heavy loads and harsh weather, the horrors of the past could make the villagers flee as fast as they could. They were ran frightened by the cold breath of terror as if something was chasing them. I hardly dare to imagine how it must have been, a danger that they can neither see nor smell but can feel. This is giving me goosebumps. Ah, me too. They continued southwest towards the mountain range that slowly towered in front of them. Nobody got sick on the journey and the feeling of danger started to fade away but they met other refugees on the way. So, it is true that other villagers, having lost their homes, joined the group? This is part of the story that is vague, depending on who's telling it. Yes, it is true. I can confirm that these are from an author authoritative source. Even though they didn't, their food ran low, Kenai did not hesitate to welcome new villagers. But they had to reach the mountains eventually. As far as I know, the mountain range is said to be unpassable. Indeed, when they finally stood before the massive mountain wall, their feet uh, in the muddy swampland, Berlin began to speak. Hmm. Wait, there's no way we can carry on walking. The mountains are up ahead. It'd be foolish to try and cross them with their belongings when winter is just around the corner. We wouldn't survive the cold up there. What do you suggest? Are we here to settle in the swamplands? It won't be easy to live in the waterlogged ground. Yes, it certainly won't. Well, you have no choice. War and illness is ravaging northeast, and trying to get around the mountains would be impossible this time of the year. I can't allow it, Berlin. I refuse. You have no choice. You are you have to face this challenge. Don't forget, you're responsible for your people. The mountains would mean certain death for us all, and changing the swamp plan, you could prove that Altrabertch Al wasn't wrong about you. Oh my, this all sounds difficult, but should I trust your advice and settle with my people? We'll find a way to handle this solution. How can they survive in a swamp land? I'm sure Kenai would think of something. Berlin showed sympathy and left the group to try and find a friend who might help. New quest. Something new is available, obviously the town hall. Um says we want to be by water. But all this water is disgusting. There's not really any good water here. It's all swamp water. Well, I mean, I guess this is the biggest water source right here. Ugh. Nasty. Oh yeah, we got, it looks like more people than before. Definitely more than six. Ah, there we go. Ah, I'm telling you, I'm tingling. My fingers are itching. I can barely stand it. Perhaps you should wa think about washing your gloves again. Rubbish, I'm talking about the urge to hunt. It's been ages since I last went out. What, I'd be able to swiftly slice the fluffy fur off a of tender meat of a... Alright, get. I'll get it. Just do, just, ah, that's just too much information for me. Do you want to start fishing again? In the swamp, I'd rather boil my own boots for supper. And anyways, I started growing scales in the amount of fish I was eating in the last settlement. Uh, Scooth Ruth is just having, is just talking rubbish again. I have told you about before, dear Jekyllin, that I grew up in a fishing village. That would explain why you like fish so much. Scooth List was never happy about eating the slithery sea creatures, though. Understood, so it's time to start eating game. You'll need a hunting hide. 
That's what I was trying to say. Hanzikai wouldn't be so good for me. But also, your four your soup fruit supply. Uh, so what do we need for the uh, hunting hide? What? Where is that at? Uh, we need 15 wood. All right. So let's, you know, start gathering some some wood. All this wood right here. Lots and lots of wood. And then uh, we're definitely gonna need. Yes, yeah, we're gonna need stone later on. Hold on. Let me. I'll get that in a second, guys. We're gonna need stone too. All right. Build this. Um, hunting hide, I'll put like right here. Seems like a good spot, you know. It's, it's around. It will get food. He can hunt over there, over here. Maybe go off into those areas. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. You can find all kinds of things. Alright, gather more stone. Definitely gonna need all of this eventually. I don't know what we're gonna be building. Probably not a bridge because we wouldn't need a bridge here. Uh, what about houses? Yeah, we're still a bit away before we can build houses. Uh, let's go back up to 10 times speed. Take it quite a long time. Yes, I know you guys don't have any houses. You just you're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, we have a lot more. We have 14. Oh yeah, that's a lot bigger population than before. That means things will go by a little bit faster. Does that mean we're gonna have to build seven houses? Employ hunters. Um, probably two. Yeah, he only wants two. I was gonna put three. We've built a hunting hide. I can't wait to finally have a big piece of juicy wild boar for dinner again. We'll finished a quest. Yeah. Yeah, we should build a forest lodge. Lodge. I mean, we could gather wood and build for building new houses much quicker. It start getting really chilly. Uh, we desperately need them. You think so? Shouldn't we consider building homes instead? It is beginning to get cold. Yeah, that's why we need a lodge. There's hardly enough trees in this swamp to build a settlement. We need to plant new trees right away. The forester will start planting new trees around his lodge. This will provide us with enough wood to build our villager. And oh, two laborers are ill. What? Don't tell me they got the plague. Oh no, sorry, I didn't want to give you a scare, but they both drank the swamp and are more concerned about their stomachs than their work at the moment. The swamp, the water from the swamp seems terribly unhealthy. It's certainly nothing like fresh water and it doesn't taste very nice either. You should dig a well. Water from deep within the earth is much more drinkable. Look at these, those flies circling the surface of the swamp. They're huge, mighty suspicious if you ask me. Alright, so we gotta dig a well. Definitely gotta do that because we do need fresh water, so we'll put that down. Uh, lodge, yeah, I figured there would be something like this to replant, uh, you know, stuffs, because we are going to need, you know, actual freaking, you know, seeds to be planted down again to, you know, grow more stuff. Uh, anytime you want to get enough so I can put this down would be nice. We're getting close, that well's being built. Something new? Yes, Forester Lodge, I'm already aware. Don't worry about it, already on it. Um, I'm actually gonna put it like over here because I don't want it to get in the way of of um, what you call it. Let's let's angle this differently because I can't see what in the hell. That looks like a glitch in the system right there. Glitch in the system. All right, we're dropping and replanting new ones. All right, good for him. When that's nice and built, that's so tiny. <laughs> that, that is, I thought it would be bigger. That's like really Ooh, extremely really tiny finished. to me. Villagers will always use the closest water source to drink from. Uh, it's much safer to the well in our local stream, our local swamp in this You're in this case. I hope they go to this one instead. If they go and drink from the freaking swamp, then they're just retarded. Okay, that's the that's the only answer there. If they go and drink from that, they're just dumb, and they deserve to get sick. Village. A new merchant is arriving. We're still working on yeah building. Oh, we need to put the uh, foresters in here. All right, two foresters. Can you hear this, Kenai? What? What are you talking about, Susan? I can't hear anything unusual. That's right. That's it. It's just soft whispering, singing between the trees, sparse and parched as they are in this swamp, like hunting, humming of nature. But this is going to end right now. The forest lodge is done and ready. The harsh sound of falling axes will soon make the skinny twigs shake and shiver. Laughing, Skithlis, you have a poet of hard words. Kenai would now plant the trees and cut wood. It meant that he had material for building new home. Wait a second, dear Jacqueline. Don't trees need years and years before they are a usable size? Well, yes. Hey, you know, I need to cut to the chase, okay? I actually don't have a clue where Kenai got the wood for the new houses so quickly, so I'm sure he planted trees. Yeah, right. Let me guess. You're just using your artistic license. Yes, I am indeed. Trees grow quickly in Kenai's story, right? Well, whatever you say, haha. Well, finished a quest. Kenai was starting to put aside his frustration about having to abandon the village. He began to concentrate fully on building the new settlement with all the new knowledge he had gained. 
It's most unusual to find a settlement in the midst of abandoned swapland. I presume you're in charge of this community? Excuse me, but to who do I owe the pleasure? My name is Jennifer. I'm a scout passing through. Please excuse my honesty, but seeing such a young man in a position of authority, well, it's just a surprise. Please, there's no need to be so formal, and I can only re reciprocate your surprise. A scout moving through this country so freely, it is just unusual to find an independent woman like you now traveling alone nowadays. Well, it isn't much of an advantage for me to stay near the war zone. I'm looking for new employers now, somewhere further south. You may have been traveling for a long time. Wouldn't you like to stay and have a rest here? I'm happy to offer you a place to sleep. Thank you, but I must decline. At the moment, I'm finding it hard to rest in one place, especially in a swamp. I'm surprised that doesn't worry you. We're planning on moving to the southwest in the spring. With all of our people and luggage, it would be impossible to do so in the winter. The cold air in the mountains would eat us alive. That makes sense. They looked at each other for a moment as they exchanged glasses without saying a word. It became obvious that they liked each other a lot. Ah, my dear Kenai, I'd like to help you make an offer. If you provide me with some provisions for my journey, I will head up the mountains and look for a suitable path for you. You would do that for us? We'd be eternally grateful. In these turbulent times, you can never have enough friends, which is why we should help each other. I promise to return the beginning of spring. Attention. Hell Villages yeah. Villages are attacked by wild animals. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wild animals, huh? The merchant needs free spots that he will leave early on and will won't pay gold if you can find one. Okay. What do you mean, you know, being attacked by wild animals? What? Uh, we simply cannot carry on. We've been attacked by animals so many times, like my meat dead and on on my dinner plate not cycling around our villagers hungry for a bite of villager wild enemies are more uh, devious and patient than you think every day they'll get a little bolder in their attempt to satisfy their hunger that sends shivers down my spine what can we do about it can't we build a protective wall wall what a cod swag we need more hunters hire more hunters and we'll make sure the animals stay away Wild quest hell yeah all right i'll give you some more hunters uh build another hunting hide okay so I guess we can only have two per little thing. All right, so we'll build a hunting hide over there. Uh, we still, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to all of our chopping down the trees that happened over here? I swear I was saying to chop them all down, and now it's not happening. Is that is that supposed to be trees? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably going to need more stone, too. We don't have that much right now. Uh, gather stone. Got a bunch of stone over here. Gather this wood over here, too. It's just free wood. All right. Definitely need to build more houses. That's something that we haven't done. So let's go ahead and plop down a couple houses because we have a ridiculous amount of people compared to our last settlement. Well, not ridiculous, like twice as much. So we're going to need a lot more houses. Okay, uh, we need to assign more hunters. So if we have animals attacking us, we need more hunters. All right. I don't like the idea had to kill so many wild animals. Well, nature has no mercy, and out there in the wilderness, someone in the swamp, well, humans just make easy prey for that. It's, uh, it may be a simple hunter, and I don't pretend to know much about building a village, but I'd say you've already laid some good foundations. Well, thank you, kind sir. However, I cannot shake my guilty conscience about the animals. Are those slain wolves? Is it more dead meat we, are, we can eat? I'd have to admit, even though I'm starting to think that this aggressive behavior is suspicious, wolves only attack if they can't see another outcome. Yes, it's almost as if they're being driven by a mysterious power. Ha, huh, come off it, don't be so superstitious. It's unusual, but not supernatural. Keep your crazy thoughts to yourself. At this point, Skrissel had no idea what future events would make him, he even him doubt his sanity. Co the cold, a cold period's harsh results in the next, in burdening our friends for the next day is that. Euros? Why are you scrunching your nose? Scrunching? It, no, it's just itching. A shoe. Oh my, you're about to get a cold. Maybe sitting in the pub and drinking beer is not the best thing to do then. I'm just allergic to bad advice, Jekyll. And snappy. But Ewald and his friends were soon to find out a woody tongue can protect you from a cold. Can't protect you from a cold. A shoe. Whoa, you got a cold? Unfortunately, yes, I caught it from one of our workers. Now that's in. The, now that it's winter, the flu has been going around. You need to prepare workers for being off sick. Isn't it cold like a woman? Uh, what do you mean? Well, the easier you get her, the harder it is to get rid of her. Ah, uh, you're, you're, yourself. You're a cell, really? Ha ha ha. It was a follow, it was wise to follow advice, Kenai. Settling here in the swamplands was the right decision. Berlin, you're back. In the absence, various problems come away. The flu, attacks from wild animals, my village's morale diminishes every day. But, as you too much, wait. Uh, I have no idea. Is that an R or a B? 
Bass, as it has been too much for you, I have a feeling something like this might happen, so I brought along an old friend. I'd like to introduce the monk of Jeremiah. Bless you, my children. Berlin has told me about your predicament. May I recommend building a pharmacy and a chapel? Both would help villagers keep the bodies, uh, body and soul healthy. Oji man, it is welcome in addition to our community, but perhaps we should tell Scoopless not to swear so much in the future. He's a bit of a potty mouth. Potty mouth, don't worry. Give him three flagons of ale and Berlin will swear like a dried out sailor. Jeremiah, please. Berlin, who is half smiling and half embarrassed at the end of the conversation, didn't say why, but told his fellow villagers he had to leave again. The king had summoned him and needed his help. Alright. We got lots of things to build, man. I feel, is this even growing trees? Like, uh, we'll either plant new trees and trees equally or a log tree. So it's doing both. Right. Okay, so I do see this, a small amount of trees growing around it, but it's taking a long time. Yeah, look here, I found this boy hanging around, up to no good. He was trying to steal something, I'm sure of it. Steal? Don't want to steal anything. Pulsalt would never steal anything. Shut your mouth, you dirty thief. Calm down, Ewalt. Let the boy explain himself. I've never seen you before. Where have you come from? Are you lost? Lost? Ridiculous. Ewalt, let the boy speak. <laughs> I don't know anymore. My head hurts. I just know I was running as fast as I could. I was running, and somewhere up I could see a light, so I came down as fast as I could. Yes, as fast as I could. This dude is dumb. Uh, from up there? You Do you mean the mountains? Yes, the mountains. Yes. He and I knew immediately that the result was neither a tramp nor a thief. This young was simply confused and in shock. He must have been running from something terrible, and it had given him a terrible fright. Uh, well, you know, this is how it is. Rumors spread like fire, so like wildfire, not long after Pizzolt's arrival, there was rumors going around that something terrible was up in the mountain. Indeed, parents even told these awful stories to the children to stop them from setting foot anywhere near the mountains. Oh my god, it's great fortune to stumble upon, Kenai. Please, don't send me anywhere, I'm begging you. Pizzolt can predict the weather, yes I can. That will help you, won't it? Will it help you? Well, I've heard people that can predict the weather. If that's the case, we can offer you to stay at the place. Place to stay. Huh. Pitch posh, what a joke. Weather forecasts are con honest. Everyone knows that. Hmm, frost is coming. Yes, mean evil frost. Project yourself. You don't believe him, do you? Well, we shall see. Alright. Oh my god. We need to build so many things right now. Um, uh, public. Uh, chapel. We don't have enough wood for that. Why? Where did all of our wood go? Went to the end of the house, didn't it? Um, gather wood. I got lots of wood that we still need, man. Like, lots of it. I see why they wanted us to build this so bad, because uh, we have, like, no wood. We're going to run out of wood very quickly. All right, something new. Yes, the chapel. We will build the chapel just over here. Sounds good to me. Uh, Booster Girl shows it. Wait, shows its influence. Uh, crap adapt. Crap adapty dap. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, pharmacy, cool store. Oh, the blue circle. Okay, so we do kind of need it over here. All right, and then public. We can't build the trap the, that anymore, unfortunately. Uh, gather more stone. That needs to be done. Uh, lots and lots of stone. What what's gonna happen when we run out of stone? I guess you're not really in the same area for that long. Uh, needs to be close to woods. Hmm. I don't, I mean, is this woods? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what the woods are anymore. I've chopped everything down, so. If that's considered woods, then alright. That's considered wood. We're getting there, okay? <laughs> alright. Oh, we are on low speed. I can't, no. We can't be on low speed. We gotta go back up to 10. We can't deal with that. Alright, you guys need to hurry up. Build this pharmacy. We're probably going to have to put doctors in there. We're still at 14 population. Thought we would have grown by now. We actually have money, though. That's kind of nice. We have a lot of things we need to do. Um, <laughs> One to ten days have gone by until the first frost is due. Finish building a pharmacy and chapel. Yeah, I, I'm going to do that. I'm working on it, all right? Pharmacy and chapel. You know, this is being built right now, and then the pharmacy will be up pretty soon. We almost have enough for it again. Right? Yes. Just everyone's focusing on this right now. How far away is this being? Oh my god. This Some things require so many materials. It takes a very long time to build them. Well, how's our food doing? Is our food going down or up? I feel like at 25 food, we're not getting enough. Um, Is this getting any food? 
Uh, aggressive hunting, normal hunting. And no one's even in it right now. Is it because I'm building? Plus one? Hmm. Hmm. The building is finished. I might build another forester over here by these areas. I'm thinking we might not your village. get freaking food when there's nothing growing there. I just have this suspicion that that might be the case. Because I haven't seen our food go up in a while here. And it's a little concerning. Oh, never mind. It was popped back up. It's just really slow. I don't know. I don't think we have enough of them going up. Not even close. Let me see. Eh, I mean, there's food around. I guess they're just not picking it up all the time. I don't know. It's just going up and down. I'm not. I don't feel safe with the amount that we have right now. Is probably the main reason. It's just not enough. Uh, finally, I was gonna say, when's someone gonna come over here and, and freaking do some rocks, man? I need to build this chapel. There we go. Chapel. Whoa. Okay. The influence on the chapel is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's like so goddamn gigantic. I can understand. I could have left it over there actually, it would have been fine. Jeez. A new merchant is arriving. Uh, where is he at? I don't see him. People still don't have houses. We still gotta do like, I think four more houses before everyone has a house. I feel sorry. Like, I want you guys to have houses, but there's nothing I can do. Well, we're definitely gonna need houses before winter hits too, because we don't have houses before winter hits. Probably gonna have a bad time. People are gonna be getting sick all over the place. Um, come on. Oh, um, we just—it was green a second. It was green for a second. Let's just put it here then. All right, that should be good. I don't know if this is in. Oh, let's uh put a pharmacist in here because we actually want people to uh, be getting cured and things like that. Don't have a lot of wood. I don't know if this just slowly gets us wood because I don't see it like growing and chopping trees down, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Hmm. Or just log trees. What is this? Forest will plant true new trees. It sounds like it's all the same thing. They're all forest or work mode. I don't know. That's uh, a little confusing. I have no idea if this is anywhere near freaking. A forest, but I don't know. This looks kind of forestish, right? I mean, right? Pro produced today one. Okay, so they are producing some. That's that's the only thing that's really important there. As long as they're producing that stuff that we need, everything's good here. And you know, the houses are slowly getting built. There's so many of them, so it's gonna take a while before you know everyone gets the wood that they need. Um, I kind of want to put another forester over here. I think that's the next thing we'll do after we build all of these houses and have the chapel up. If we, if it's not going to end after this winter thing that happens, uh, we'll definitely plant one down over here and let that do its thing. What does the little symbol above its head mean? You mean like they're working right now? Because I'm not entirely sure. The there we go. Finished. There's one house for you guys. You guys should all be nice and happy about that. Yeah. It looks like there's... At least one. Uh, four frost can harm your crops. Well, we don't have any crops right now, so that's not really that big of a deal. If you guys can just go over here and finish these buildings, I'd really appreciate it. That'd be nice. Most of these are pretty far away, though. What are you guys doing all day? Like, I mean, I don't know. You're pretty spread out. You guys, a lot of you guys are working on the chapel. Come on, let's get this stuff built. I'm ready to have, you know, new houses and people not be sleeping out in the cold because that will get people sick and I don't want that at all. There we go. Chapel's about to be done. Oh my god. What? Who doesn't want to work in the heat? Who? Wait. Be who who doesn't work want to work in the heat has to suffer in the cold. How disappointing to see can I experience that truth of the phase so badly. Wait, something is wrong. I think I misinterpreted my sources. The story goes differently. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, we failed. Oh no, I was so close. I guess because I didn't build a house for everyone, the when the frost came, we died. That sucks a bunch of ass. Well, I guess we'll just have to try this again next time. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with many more villagers to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai.